166 survivors of child sex abuse. 166 Coloradans victimized by the priests they trusted. They came forward, each one to bring light to a culture of secrecy and suppression. Their stories are included in the report today, the largest investigation of priest abuse in Colorado history. The former U.S. attorney who led this reckoning says these 166 lives were permanently changed, permanently diminished. Kevin Vaughn from our Nine Wants to Know team shares what the Catholic Church in Colorado has long kept from seeing the light of day. We don't name any victims by name in the report, but we want to make sure their stories are told. The report does not mince words, laying out in sometimes graphic detail systematic sexual abuse and shockingly sad stories. One priest, Harold Robert White, abused 63 children. At least four of the victims later ended their own lives. And while the report provided a difficult look at the past, it was also a call to change the future, to make it easier to report abuse and to stop protecting child molesters. That's the assessment of former U.S. Attorney Bob Troyer, who wrote the report. The culture has got to change. Uh, the culture has, has got to shift to understanding that Colorado's criminal justice system is an appropriate place for sending criminals child sex abusers. Kevin, the Archdiocese would not sit down with either of us to answer our questions today. They said that they have answered all of the questions, which is not true. So let's talk about some of the questions you'd still like to ask them. I'd like to ask them why after Colorado's mandatory reporting law was strengthened in 2002, they still failed to call the police in more than half the cases that they learned about since then. The Archdiocese will point out there hasn't been a substantiated claim of abuse since 1998. You would like to ask them about a report from 2017. Right. This was a, a report about a priest that was active in the 60s and 70s that came to them in 2017. A priest described in the report as the most calculated, horrific, and predatory of all of them. They did not investigate that report, and they went on to tell the Vatican that it was not substantiated, even though they hadn't investigated it. The Archdiocese provide us with a pre-recorded statement where Archbishop Samuel Aquila says that he has an open door policy to talk to survivors. Today's report explains what those survivors see when they walk in the door. They walk into a religious building, they meet with up to 10 people, lawyers, clergy in religious garb, what looks to a lot of them as a hostile environment, and they're expected to tell the stories of the most difficult experience of their lives. Kevin Vaughn, thank you very much.